here with Chris. And Chris, why don't you tell us a little bit about what, why you came out today? You can see his sign says, my family did it the right, uh, did it right. Everyone else can too. So Chris, tell me what brought you out here today. My parents had to jump through some hoops to come in here to the United States. And as a matter of fact, their first set of paperwork got bounced back over a Claire Claire. And uh, their second set of paperwork was finally approved where they were allowed to legally come into this great country of ours. And uh, they went on to permanent residency and eventually became U.S. citizens. I am the first to be born in America from that family. Well, congratulations, Chris. Yes, sir. And we're, we're proud to have you here, my friend. Thank you for showing up. Yes, sir. I'm here, I'm here with Jim, and Jim, why don't you tell us a little bit about why you're out here today. First off, love the sign. It says, Stop the Invasion. I love it. Yeah, we've got to stop the invasion of illegal immigrants into our country that our hard-working, tax-paying Americans are expecting to support. We're not helping the veterans of America, but we're quick to help illegal aliens. They're termed illegal for a reason. Our forefathers came here, did it the right way. They were hard-working. They got a job. They paid their taxes. They earned their keep. That's not the story story in our country any longer, and I don't think the people who are in the taxpaying base should have to foot the bill for everyone that's coming here illegally. How we could support it while we ignore people that were born and raised here are beyond me. How we could turn our backs on our veterans. This home used to house nuns that were booted out of here, and they're going to put illegal aliens in here? I find it to be disgusting. We should be ashamed that we support our mayor and anyone who supports her. Now, Jim, do you think uh, Mayor Minor even has the authority to issue this invitation apart from the input of city council or anybody else? I don't know the legality of what she can or can't do in terms of your question. I know that obviously she supports it, and that's, I think, all the taxpayers in the city need to know. And if they don't support it, they surely shouldn't support her. Amen to that. And uh, now, just to clarify, uh, you are not opposed to immigration. You are opposed to illegal immigration. Correct. 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 Okay. Thank, thank you very much, because you know that the uh, that I've already been labeled a racist and said I hate people today just for you know and I told people I'm like why would you have a sign that says I hate somebody well, you don't know anything about me well, how, how is expecting us to observe laws make me hateful and racist well I think that that's just a, a liberal spin to make us look like we're doing something hateful that we're not behind humanity and things of that nature and there's no truth to that at all I'm not I'm not opposed to helping people I don't mind when my tax dollars go to support some Someone who's retired, who's worked their whole life and paid into the system. I don't have a problem supporting a veteran who's come home from war, they're wounded, they can't work. That's not the problem at all. I have a problem when we're not supporting people here who we should be, who are American, yet we're quick to throw money at people who've entered and crossed our borders illegally against our law. They're called illegal for a reason. So I don't support it. I'm never going to support it. And do you Stop think, the invasion. Do you think that if we went to, uh, if, if you or I crossed the Mexico or Canadian border on our own, illegally, how do you, do you think they'd be finding a place to set us up and, and give us nice meals? I don't think any of us would be standing on their corner this long without a bullet in our head. Thank you very much. I appreciate you taking the time. I'm here with Randy, and Randy, why don't you tell me a little bit about why you're out here today? Well, the main reason I'm out here, uh, I'm out here for, on so many different levels because I don't think these kids really belong here, frankly. Um, we have a lot of hungry young people here in the city of Syracuse. You see people picking up cans for a nickel. You see uh, people eating out of dumpsters. Um, our many homeless veterans. Uh, we have so many problems here in the city of Syracuse. Uh, the water mains break every other day. There was just another water main break today. The streets look like they're, they've been bombed by uh, our fighter planes that are currently in Afghanistan. Uh, there's so many problems here in the city of Syracuse. I don't think that we should take on yet another problem. Okay, I agree. Can you show me what your sign says oh, before sure. I, I sure finish can. up here? Uh, Hawk, if you want secure borders. I guess that's the main reason I'm here today because you know what? If you don't have a border, you don't have a country. Amen to that. Thank you very much, Randy. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah! Lots of people driving by and honking. We had a big uh, semi truck driver come through here and lay on the horn a little while ago. That was pretty sweet. Uh, 
We definitely, these, the, the frustrating thing is uh, the folks over here and the folks on the uh, pro-illegal immigration side are using an indication that if we don't agree with them that we hate or we, uh, we are racist or we hate them, and that is not true at all, uh, expecting secure borders and laws to be observed doesn't make us racist and it doesn't make us hateful. Yeah, more people, more people, all right. More people laying on the horn. Bring it!